In this video, I'm going to be going over bid mass, but with a particular focus on the use of brackets. First of all, see if you can evaluate this expression. That means work out what the answer is to 5 plus 4 squared. Hopefully, you got the answer 21. And hopefully, you realize then that because this is an index number, 4 squared, we need to work it out first, which is 16 and that leaves us with the adding 5 to do so you get the answer 21 okay no problems right what would have happened if all of that had been inside a pair of brackets and then we had to times the answer by 2 what would you do then okay well you would do exactly what we've just done within the brackets Okay, now that we know that we've got a pair of brackets, it's the most important thing. So we look inside the brackets and you apply the order of bid mass. You've got an index number there. So we evaluate that first. That's 16. Add the 5. Keep it inside brackets just uh, for the time being. Times by 2. Okay, now we've got an addition. So we'll do that inside the brackets, which is 21. We've done the brackets now, so we now need to do 21 times 2. And the answer to that is 42. Okay, brilliant. So the moral of that story then, if I show you what's under the rest behind it, is that if you've got a pair of brackets and inside the brackets you've got more than one operation, we've got an addition here and an index number here, for example, then you need to apply bid mass to everything that's going on inside the brackets. Okay, here's another example. 48 divided by bracket 16 take away 4 times 2. So I just said what we'll need to do then, if you've got more than one operation inside the brackets, is to apply the order of bid mass. Well, looking at the brackets, so B for brackets, we've got a multiplication and a subtraction here and here. And the multiplication is the more important of those two. So, I'll need to evaluate this first. 4 times 2 is 8. Right, now I can rewrite the brackets bit. 16 take away 8. And rewrite the bit outside the brackets. Okay, we've still got brackets. And now inside the brackets, we've got a subtraction. Okay, that's the only thing, in fact, we've got inside the brackets. 16 take away 8. That gives you 8. And outside the brackets, we had 48 divided by 8. Well, we've only got one choice, haven't we? We've only got the division left to do. 48 divided by 8 is 6. Okay, so just to recap, inside a pair of brackets, if there's more than one operation going on, you go in the order of bid mass. In this case, we had multiplication and subtraction. We did the multiplication first because, according to the order of bid mass, it is more important, comes before subtraction. Okay. Now, the same thing applies if you have an extra set of brackets inside another pair of brackets. So let's just change that very slightly. 48 divided by brackets, open another pair of brackets, 16 take away 4, close brackets, times 2, close brackets. Okay, inside the first set of brackets, inside these brackets, we've got another set of brackets and in that we have a subtraction in fact that's all we've got so we'll do that that's the first thing that needs to get done 16 take away 4 is 12 okay times by 2 it says keep that inside the brackets and then 48 divided by right so with our set of brackets We've now got a multiplication left to do. That equals 24. We've still got 48 divided by to do. So 48 divided by, that's the division. And when we work it out, we get 2. So all I did there was apply the order of bid mass to these brackets. Okay, within the yellow brackets, there was another set of brackets, so that meant it was the most important thing to do within the yellow brackets. Okay, and then I just followed the bid mass order. That's all there is to it. 
This, by the way, is called, when you've got brackets inside brackets, that's called nested brackets. Okay, there are, there's a pair of brackets nested inside another pair of brackets. Okay, next thing. This isn't uh, really that difficult. We've got two pairs of brackets, but they're not within each other. They're not nested. We've got a pair of brackets here and a pair of brackets here. What do you think you do if you come across this situation when we've got two brackets? How do we know which one to do? Well, it doesn't matter which one you do first in that sense. I mean, I'd recommend going doing the left one first and then doing the right one. But the important thing is that you work out the answer to both of them before you do the multiplication. Okay, so my suggestion is that we do the left bracket first, but as I said, it doesn't really matter as long as you do them, work them both out before you do the multiplication. Okay, 5 take away 2 is 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. We have a multiplication to do. That's the only thing left there is to do, in fact. So the answer is 27. Okay. Simple, right? Just work out each bracket separately and then do the thing that's happening in the middle. What would happen if instead of being a multiplication here, this had been a division? So I'm cross that out, make that a division. Well, not that much would have changed really. Five take away two is three. We'll need to do the other brackets before we do the division. Five plus four is nine. So you need to do 3 divided by 9, 3 divided by 9 can be written like this as a fraction, which can be simplified to 1 third. Okay. Now at this point, I want to show you something else which looks like a fraction. Okay. Here we have 5 take away 2 divided by 5 plus 4. That's what we were just looking at. But there's another way of writing that. We could have written it like this. 5 take away 2 over 5 plus 4. Now how do we get to the brackets? Well, what this is saying is that we need to work out the top before we work out the bottom. So we could have written it like this. That dividing line becomes a division symbol. The denominator, or the expression on the bottom of the fraction, will be what you're dividing by. And then we put them inside brackets. And we work it out just as we did before. Work out each bracket separately. So we said that was 3, we said that was 9, and then you get 1 third. Okay, here's another example. 6 times 7 over 8 plus 6. If we think about this in terms of brackets, it'll become more obvious what we need to do. So the top one stays where it is, and then we're going to end up dividing by what's on the bottom put them into brackets just to remind you to work out each part of it first. So 6 times 7, that's 42, and 8 plus 6 is 14, so we need to do 42 divided by 14, let's go back, 42 divided by 14, which is 3. Okay, and finally one more example, we've got 5 plus 7 over 8 times 2. You need to treat the top and the bottom of the, of the fraction as two separate expressions and you need to evaluate them that means work them out separately before you can do the dividing so 5 plus 7 divided by 8 times 2 but put those both both of those expressions inside brackets and work them out separately and we get we get that this is 12 and that this is 16 so we have 12 divided by 16, which you can write as a fraction. And then simplify. Divide the top and the bottom by 4. You get 3 quarters. Okay. Let me then return to one final thing I want to show you um, involving brackets in bid mass. The kind of question where you're given an equation and you need to put brackets in to make the equation true or to make both sides of the equation balance. So we've got 11 take away 2 times 5 plus 2 equals 47. Th if we do it without brackets, this is what would happen. We would do the multiplication first, so you get 10. 11 take away 10, add 2. That, then you would do work from left to right, remember, because we've just got subtraction and addition. So 11 take away 10 is 1. Add the 2, 
is 3. Right, clearly that's not 47. So something's going on. Basically what, what's happened is that we're missing brackets. So what can we do? Could we put the brackets round here? Well, if we put the brackets around there, that's not going to make any difference whatsoever because we would have done the multiplication first even without the brackets. So, what about if we put the brackets around here? 11 take away 2 is 9 times 5 add 2. Right, then we would do the multiplication first. That's 45, add 2 to it. Yeah, that does actually equal 47. So the brackets that we're missing we're right here around the 11 take away 2. Okay, so sometimes you might get questions where you have to put brackets in where they belong. Right. Okay, I'm going to leave you with these four questions. In the first one, you need to work out what the answer is. It's brackets 20 take away 3 times 2 close brackets divided by 7. What is that answer? In part B, it's 5 plus open brackets, four times, open another pair of brackets, seven take away one, close brackets, close brackets. What does that equal? Then we've got 12 plus three over six take away three. What does that equal? And then finally in part D, it says put brackets in to make it work. Four plus four times four take away four equals 28. That expression here is missing a pair of brackets so that the answer becomes 28. See if you can work those out. You'll need a pencil and a paper and then fill in the answers below. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.